University of Missouri. These fans are juiced up for the start of this game. And now it's time for the coin talk. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calorie. Enjoy everything. And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. And a quick throw. Maybe a yard on that completion. Not much of a gain for the wide receiver, but at least he made the catch and got himself some positive yards. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. made at the 35. Even if you're pulling for the other team, you've got to just admire this guy's speed. He is special. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's a game of five on the that brings him second and five. We've got a second and five. Ball on their own 40. Quick out to his receiver. And down he goes to 39-yard line. Drop back a yard. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. Sacked on the play. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. Cooper fields it at the 27, gets to about the 37-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Pass out to the tight end, but it's incomplete. These receivers need to be ready because he's capable of really launching some passes. That one was just out of reach. From their own 37-yard line, second down. Hands off up the middle and stuffed. Throws it in a hurry. So the defense does their job well on that series. Smith back to return it. It's away and it's a booming punt. This one will go into the end zone and they'll bring it out to the 20. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Now he pitches it. And they make the stop at about the 21. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 21.
They'll bring him down at the 31. That's a game of 10 on the play. That makes it first and 10. He gets to about the 41-yard line. Gain of 10 on the play. That'll make it second and inches. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Quick throw to the tight end. Tackle around the 48-yard line. rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He's going to try and scramble. Decides to tuck it in and he's got space. And he's tackled at the 39. First down. From the 39-yard line, first down. He fights forward to about the 36. Here's the eighth play of the series. So his fifth run of the drive goes for another first down. This offense is running the ball very effectively on this drive. From the 24-yard line, it's first down. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. This is the 10th play of this drive. run and he's brought down third down and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down makes it out to maybe the 13 yard line well, the offensive coordinator right now is very happy with the execution that's the fifth first down on this drive alone the big thing is when you have this kind of drive going you don't want to end it in a field goal. Now, you want to focus on trying to put the football into the end zone. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. So it's second and 13. Ball on the 16. And he's going to lose big yardage. He's tackled immediately after the catch. They're stopped for a five-yard loss. But that play was sort of out of sync from the start. But you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. This is the 14th play of this drive. Quick release. Oh, had it knocked down. Anytime you can prevent a third down conversion, you're doing something right. Solid coverage. They'll call on the field goal unit here. Texas A&M is looking to go up by three. Kicks away, and it splits the uprights. like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. 
And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Play fake. Quick throw out to the receiver. Good tackle there in space. He faked out everybody in the stadium. When you can sell the run that well, you're going to have the upper hand on the defense. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. Throws incomplete. They got a hand on it. I wouldn't be surprised if this one is offensive pass interference. So the offense will move a little bit closer with that penalty. First and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. He's knocked out of bounds right around the 42-yard line. He's taken down around the 42-yard line. That makes it third, and 15. third down now, and they need to get it inside the 42. He wants it all going long. And he's taken down at about the 19-yard line. The offense caught him flat-footed to convert that third and long. You can tell by the coach's reaction that that is a huge disappointment. Now it's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Runs right for a nice game. That makes it second and six. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. The defense was playing run all the way right there, and it paid off for him. That makes it third and seven. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Chisholm picks him up around seven yards with that catch. Defense and their short yardage package. Fires quickly to the tight end. He's got it. Touchdown. The tight end scored that time and with authority. Braddy's a physical football player, but he's also got the finesse to make a big impact in the passing game. You knew they had to dial up something big. But these kids really dug deep for an absolutely huge play. And he hits the PAT. An eight-play, 75-yard drive. And the result, seven points. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Tigers are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down like this. He goes downtown. Brought down right around the 38-yard line. First and ten. First 
So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. to his tailback. He's tackled around the 40-yard line. Third down, and they need to get it to the 28. He's in bounds to make a nice catch. I'm sure the defense thought he came up short. You know, sometimes the officials' judgments can have a big impact on a game. Somebody hit the upset alert button because this one looks like it just might be heading in that direction. 7-3, Tiger. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. down after a nice run up the middle. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. The five. Touchdown, Texas A&M. the handoff and knew exactly what to do with it. They like the fact that they have a halfback who can pick his way so well through defenses. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. He makes the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the one. They'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Both teams are kind of struggling to take control of this game. Obviously, they're both very, very competitive with one another. It just seems that the lead is going back and forth between the two teams. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And they push him out at the 34. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. And they hit him in the backfield. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. tailback on the screen and he shoved out of bounds at the 34 yard line that makes it fourth and four smith is the deep man awaiting the return he really got a hold of that one he makes it out to maybe the 33 yard line There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Texas A&M is up a field goal. Very good tackle in space. From their own 36-yard line, it's second down. He's into the open field. 
Tackled after a decent run up the gut. That's a game of six on the play. That'll bring up third and inches. Tackle made right around the 44-yard line. From their own 44-yard line, first down. They try to run up the middle, but met in the backfield. Really good job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield. at the 40 inside the 30 the 10 touchdown Aggies and he tacks on the extra point Small is lined up to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Setting up play action. Throwing left. Makes the grab and steps out right away. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. From their own 43-yard line, first down. hit out of bounds at the 44-yard line. Good solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. Throws complete and he stopped immediately. They're about four yards away here on second down. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. to his receiver, no good. From the 24-yard line, second down. And they'll get him in the backfield. I thought they might have been able to exploit the over-pursuit of the defense, but not on that play. Catches it, and that's all. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. It's fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Kicks up, and it is good. The 
Missouri gets set to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. Across the 30. And the kicker comes in to make the tackle. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Bumble! Recovered by the defense. That just shows you how determined this defense is. Great play by the linebacker to come up with the ball after the fumble. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Nice run there. He gets four, maybe five yards on the counter. Second and five. Ball on the 37. to his fullback, no good. And they make the stop at about the 31. From the 31 yard line, it's first down. Nice run, and he's brought down. Up the middle for a nice game. About seven yards there on the scamper from the halfback, and that's going to be good for the first. Another good run from this running back. Let's see if he continues to get his carries as they continue with this drive. From the 20 yard line, first down. It's the tailback. Good outside run there. yardage on that run and this is the eighth play of the drive well, I love the toughness here by this quarterback sitting in into the last second trying to make a play downfield only to have this defense get to him Got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. And they got him for a loss. That is a loss of two yards. That makes it 30 goal. Tenth play of the drive. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. Will be tied with the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A 10-play, 41-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Missouri, kick this one off. Pressure. 
Preston from the one. Brought down at the 23-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. They'll spread the field with five wide. Got it. And he goes down quickly. About a seven-yard pickup that time on the pass. That's a good completion. They didn't get the first down, but they picked up about seven yards. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's taken down at the 31. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Scrambling around. Lost the ball. Fumble. And they fall on the loose ball. And they will keep the drive alive by recovering their own fumble. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. After, after review of the play, the, play, the ruling, ruling on the, on the field, field is reversed. reversed. So after some discussion, the call on the field is reversed. Kill, kill. Two. Yes, yes, yes. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. Booming kick. Gets to about the 41-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. From their own 41-yard line. Second down. Slings it. He's at the 40. And down he goes at about the 33-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 33. Here we go. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Missouri's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Got it and brought down immediately. Throws it to the outside. And it's incomplete. Fourth down. They're going to try a long field goal here. Missouri is looking to go up by three. It has the distance. And it's good. to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Texas A&M's offense struggled in that first quarter, but, man, they've really come to life here in quarter number two. Well, they've hit their stride here offensively. If they could just have their own defense try to come up with a stop or two, they'd have the lead right now. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Good open field tackle. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. But well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. With a quick throw.
carries the ball for a nice game. Kill, kill, kill! That's a three. First down. Now he's scrambling, and they got him. You know what happened there? The offensive line was so focused on picking up the blitz, they forgot about blocking the defensive lineman. There's a strike complete. I'd say the offensive coordinators definitely showed their wares in that first half. 2017, Missouri. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Keith Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. There are a lot of ways to describe that first half, David. I, I think the best is, well, let me tell you, these offenses are just putting up video game numbers. But we talk about it week in and week out, and that seems to be a term that we like to use, and it's just high execution, doing everything that you want to do, just like you sitting there pushing buttons on a control. That's how easy it seemed. It didn't seem like there was 90,000 fans in the crowd. It seemed like it was just you at home, sitting on the couch, chilling, pressing the circle button, using the, using the stiff arm, using the ball hawk. Everything just seemed to go perfectly. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. Great first half. Hopefully the second half's as good. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 26. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Missouri holds a field goal lead. Got it, complete, and he's out of bounds. From their own 40-yard line, first down. That's a live ball. And the defense picks it up to the 10. Touchdown, Texas A&M. He makes the PAT. Texas A&M ready to kick this one off. He'll return it from the three. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. It was a rough road on their last drive as the fumble led to a touchdown. You know, after that last turnover by this offense, the momentum has really turned in this game. And right now, you got to believe this defense is going to come out and play with a lot of intensity and a lot of aggression. It's second and seven. Ball on the 26. They'll bring him down at the 30-yard line. Gets it. He's in space. He's tackled at the 34-yard line. From their own 34-yard line, it's first down. Just throws this one away. Here's 
a handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. That is a loss of one yard. That brings us third and 12. And here's another third down. They keep it on the ground, and a great tackle right there. That brings us fourth and 15. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. He's to the 40. He's taken down at the 41. The Tigers have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team has put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Texas A&M is up by four. And he's tackled after positive yardage. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on their own 46. Tackle around the 47 yard line. to his receiver. Brought down at the 44. That makes it first and 10. From the 44-yard line, first down. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. bring him down for a loss on the play. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. And he's going to come up with a sack. It's now fourth and long. Cooper, the return man. He fields the punt at the 16, and he's shoved out of bounds around the 33-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Stop behind the line. That's a loss of one yard on the way. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the 32. Hands off to the right and is brought down in the backfield. Loss of three yards on the play. That brings us third and 14. Okay, time right, time right. Four down, four down. Two, four's the mic. Ready, play. They run it for the first, and he stops. Loss is on the on the play. Fourth down. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. 
Schmidt fields it at the 22, and he's tackled at the 33. So the Aggies have got to remember that they've still got a fight on their hands in this football game. Yeah, they cannot afford to get sloppy. Remember the first half, how bad they look. And as good as things are going right now, with an entire quarter to go, they got to continue to play good football. So we're just about ready to return to action. Texas A&M holds a four-point lead. made at the 50-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 50-yard line. Pass out to the tight end, but it's incomplete. And he's tackled at the 37. From the 37 yard line, first down. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a deep problem. That brings him second to five. He makes it out to maybe the 29 yard line. That's a deep Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Caught, and this is going to be a first down. That makes it first and ten. Texas A&M is up four. And they make the stop at the 27. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That makes it 37. So we're looking at another third down here. Deep ball, laying it out there. He caught it for the touchdown. This guy just continues to impress me. Every time I watch this team play, he seems to come up with big plays. You've always got to be on your toes when you're covering this guy. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. At the 30. Knocked out of bounds around the 41-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They give to the tailback. And he's taken down around the 43-yard line. From their own 43-yard line, it's second down. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. And they get nice yardage on that run. Make it 
Got a man. Watch out here. He's knocked out of bounds around the 25-yard line. It definitely put them in better field position. And I just have a feeling that they're going to punch it into the end zone on this drive. From the 25-yard line, it's first down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That makes it six and six. Let's go. Boys up. He tackles him for a loss. So the toss to the halfback doesn't work. That's a loss of about three on the play. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Tosses out to the tailback on the screen. And down he goes at the 14-yard line. stopped immediately that's the end of three quarters of play and this one's a little tighter than the experts thought 31 20 texas a m into the fourth quarter now and we're back to the action Dumps it complete over the middle. He's taken down at the seven yard line. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. They'll bring him down right around the four yard line. Tenth play of the drive. Touchdown, Missouri. He really plowed his way into the end zone there. Great looking touchdown. Once you get inside the 10-yard line, this halfback is automatic. So the offense is going to go for two. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. And they won't get the two. A nice 10-play, 60-yard drive. And they get six points on the board after failing the two-point conversion. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. And the kicker comes in to make the tackle. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Nice run there. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 40. They go right and he's tackled behind the line. One yard loss for the halfback. He airs it out. He 
he's tackled around the 17-yard line. You know, they did a great job here of not just getting past the first down marker, but picking up some major yards on the play. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and 10. Quick throw, and that sets them up with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. him down for a loss. It's got to be frustrating for this offense to go backwards, but they've just got to stick with it and know that big plays will eventually happen. Just inside the five. Second down. Touchdown, Aggies. This back has great vision, which allows him to make runs like this one we just saw. And he adds the extra point. Small has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 30. I think any good football team has to have an ability to answer, and that's exactly what we just saw. One team scores a touchdown, the other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board. This is getting exciting. Let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments after giving up a touchdown on that last drive. Nice run up the middle. It's second and six. Ball on 34. He scrambles. He guns it. And that one's incomplete. to the receiver and he's tackled in the open field so close but they fall short of the first down you've got to throw the ball a little deeper next time don't take any chances of coming up short it's fourth down and the offense is getting set to go for it running for the conversion no good and they'll take over on downs Last drive ended with as good a result as you can hope for, and I'm sure they'd like to replicate that here. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 15. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Nice gain of around seven yards on that delay. That'll make it second and four. Carries the ball for a nice game. That makes it first and it's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Touchdown, Texas AM. He 
He's been a force getting to pay dirt three times. If I were the head coach of this football team, I would give him the ball at least 30 times a game. He makes the PAT. Texas A&M is lining up to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 25-yard line. Last time out, the offense wasn't able to convert on fourth down. That stop gave this defense some momentum last time out. It'll be interesting to see if they can keep that intensity on this drive. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Tackle around the 38-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 38. And he hits him hard at the 30-yard line. That's a loss of 80 yards. That'll make it second and long. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Catches it, and that's all. It really wasn't badly played by the defense, but sometimes a good throw and catch just beats you. Tackles him hard at the 23. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Smith is back deep to return the punt. He really got a hold of that one. And he's taken down at the 42. You can see why this freshman was so highly recruited. He's got a lot of ways he can beat you. The thing that's been unique about watching him play is, of course, he can make throws. But I think his athletic ability and his playmaking ability has really caught this defense by surprise. You know, if there's anybody out there that's still doubting whether or not this guy has the goods that can throw the football and play quarterback, well, I think he's proven that he can. He hasn't really looked uncomfortable at all, and neither of his teammates, and that's led to a pretty substantial advantage. I'm sure that touchdown in their last possession's given them some confidence, but let's see if that carries them back down the field. Brought down at the 44. From the 44-yard line, first down. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. He's finally tackled at the 11-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Let's see now how the defense responds to giving up the gain on the run. Finds his receiver, touchdown! A good football team has to consistently be able to capitalize when they're in the red zone. converts the extra point. Small has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. And he's tackled at the 27-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. He's still going. Tackle made at about the 27-yard line. Here's third and eight. Ball on the 27-yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. And he's hit immediately. Chisholm picks him up about three yards with the catch. Smith, the return man. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Smith feels it at the 24, and he just got stood up right there. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. And they make the stop at the 49. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 49. And he's taken down at the 49-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. Well, a nice stop there late in the fourth quarter, but this game, quite frankly, has been over for a long time, and I'm ready for it to end. And the ball game's over. And our final score of this one, Texas A&M 52, Missouri 26. Kirk, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. Well, it looks like we called this one right. Missouri really had their work cut out for themselves today, and they just weren't able to get it done. They just didn't have the firepower to match up with the talented athletes on the other side of the ball. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.